This is like a really simple uh, breakdown of the AMD Wraith Stealth Cooler that comes with the Ryzen, like the lower end Ryzen's. So uh, starting with, this is the shroud which goes on to the fan housing. The fan housing has like this little nub, so you um, can attach it like that. And then how this mounts to the, um, this fan isn't accurate as to upwards facing. The fan mounts to the actual heat sink with the hole, when the holes align. And it uses four uh, screws. Come on. Yeah, it uses four little screws like that. And um, so that's pretty simple. And that's really, it's really, there isn't much. This is the CPU side. Usually it would come with a really thick, like, large spread thermal paste, which isn't that good quality, that good of quality. But um, I took it off just because I used this as a test to make sure that my CPU and motherboard worked. Oh, and RAM worked. And then I just took it off. And that's the top side. Um, where this is, this is, uh, obscures it, so you usually don't see. And then uh, there's like a little bit of a cutout right here, not super important. Mounts to the motherboard in this direction. So you have, uh, let's say this was like the top, right? This would be the bottom. And uh, probably the only interesting thing here that's super cool, or su super cool, super, uh, that matters even, is how this mounts together. So this clips on. And just uses some clips, but it only clips on in one direction, which is like that. And usually, it comes stock this way. And why that matters is because a lot of people think that's annoying. I want it to face this way. Well, what you have to do is that you have to take this off, or I would take this off just to make it easier. And it's also super easy to take off. And then after that, you need to align um, the cooler, and you have to screw it back on. And why that is difficult is because these holes don't exactly line up. The holes on the sides uh, don't exactly line up. It's kind of, uh, it's almost square, but not quite. So what you have to do is you have to... Like, if that's the stock configuration, this is flipping it sideways, right? And it doesn't line up perfectly. You have to, like, kind of drill out the holes a little bit, like this one. Here, just completely is obscured. This one's clear. Oh, fiddle, now I moved it all. This one's clear. This one needs to be drilled out a little bit, so it would require a little bit of modding, actually, to get it so that the cooler sits like that, um, if you plan on using this. And then, for as for the actual fan itself, that's, um, come on. Put this in the light. This is all the information about it. Uh, if you want a replacement or have any questions, um, it's it's really hard to tell what size it is. I measured it with a measuring tape, and it was kind of like 90 millimeters ish. Um, so I'm gonna assume that was the size because I'm assuming nobody makes like 88 or 92. Well, maybe my, it could have been 92. 92 is an option, uh, so it's probably a 92 millimeter fan. But yeah, that's your information pertaining to the fan. This doesn't have any. This doesn't have any important info on it. Now, this only has a little number, 1518V, and that's about it. That's a, really the Ray Stealth. It's a super simple cooler, uh, slightly more effective than the Intel stock cooler. It's about the same, really, but uh, this fan and shroud is nicer. So, yeah, that's uh, the AMD Ray Stealth. Oh, it comes in this little box. Not that that's much of much importance, but, yeah, there it is, and uh, thanks.